Hello everybody and welcome back to a new video. I'm Renouncer and we're going to talk about why teabagging is not the things that these weirdos online claim. These are the same people that could never survive a Halo 3 or a Modern Warfare 2 lobby on the 360 back in the day because they would call you literally every name under the sun and you had to either sit there and take it or you had to trash talk back to these people. But anyway, back in this weird discussion about teabagging being, you know, assault or bad behavior, you know, or whatever, because, you know, we're back at this crap again. And it says, here's why people are currently debating if online teabagging is sexual assault. No one is debating this. The only people that are debating, no one is really debating this, honestly. The only weird people that are debating this are people that, again, would never survive a Halo 3 or a Modern Warfare 2 lobby back in the day, where these things are just normal, and it's been a part of gaming culture forever, and if you can't handle it, get the fuck off. I don't care. Get good scrub. GG. Get off the game, dude. I don't care. You know, this was today. Debate follows reports of sexual assault happening in the metaverse, which, again, if you want to pull up the definition, it's an act in which one intentionally sexually touches another person without their consent no one is physically touching you physically has to be physical physical touching of the person not some virtual world that's doing that people are doing these things it's not a it's not physically happening to you so shut up Well, the topic has been dissected online as far back as 2018. This most recent discussion regarding virtual teabagging kicked off after a user posted a recently deleted message thread which gaming site Frag Hero claims originated in a chat log of a private Discord server. However, before we get into that, for those who are unaware of what the act of teabagging in the context of video gaming is, is basically crouching down onto an enemy and simulating rubbing your crotch on their face. Yes, those are going up and down as if you're inserting your testicles we'll say into the mouth of the person who died which most times their mouth is not open so it really doesn't matter and it doesn't matter anyway because it's a goddamn video game get over it pussy uh, while performing such an act which would not only be considered you know sexual assault in real life yeah hence this means physically touching someone without their consent doesn't apply to a virtual world you dummies we're going to carry it the same way in the virtual realm has sparked a flurry of thoughts and opinions it doesn't it's not physical you're not harmed you're not being touched without your consent it's it's a video game plain point blank simple it's, there's there's no real there's really no debate except stop being a pussy and get the fuck off the internet if you're so offended by fake things happening to you Posted by Jake Lucky, co-owner of games company Full Squad Gaming, the post reads, I don't know who needs to hear this, but teabagging in video games is not sexual assault. He's correct. He's 100% correct. We're going to pull up the tweet here. So here's the original tweet. This is the messages that people are seeing in Discord. Yep, and then we get into games where people think it is okay to teabag, and I think that it's funny. It is absolutely 100% funny. In every way, shape, or form, and I still do it to this day in Halo Infinite. Come see me, bitch. When really, it's sexual assault. No, it isn't, because it's not physical. Again, we're going to pull up the definition where it says, physically force this on someone, which they're not doing. Oh, we live in a cross world. I just want to help beautify it. No, you want to help make it unfun and bitch-made like you are. You're bitch-made. We call you We call you bitch-made. You're bitch <laughs> well, the next one. Teabagging is sexual. Assault. I'm a repeated ex offender. I mean, it is sexual assault. No, it's not. If I do not consent and someone rubs their genitals in my face, that's sexual assault. It's not. It, it, again, it's not because they're not rubbing genitals. You don't physically see genitals. They're not doing it to you physically. They're doing it in a virtual world. You're just a pussy. <laughs> You may think it's just a video game. It is just a video game. You're a pussy. Well, I grew up with a large group of other boys who did that for fun all the time to other people in IRL. It's not funny. It's disgusting. They, I guarantee that never happened. Present proof? 
Where's the receipts? I guarantee that didn't happen because pretty sure no one was actually doing those acts unless it was in the comfort of their own bedroom. Wow, imagine defending sexual assault. They're not defending it. You're just stupid. Right when someone opens up about being sexually assaulted, you're not sexually assaulted again. Once again, it's not physical. You're just a dumbass and you're just a pussy. Get off the internet if that's what you think. Way to minimize my experiences. Where? It's right there. I'm deeply sorry my reflexes may result to my in-game character crouching on another in-game character's dead body because I shit on them very hard and I would like to rub my gigantic chamber balls in their face. I'll try very hard not to do it again. Literally no excuse for it. It's not, once again, it's not this because for the third time in this video, again, physically, I'm playing a video game. Stop being a pussy or get off the internet. But um, we'll also pull up, where is it? Did I have it here? Oh, I didn't have it. I don't have it pulled up. Oh, shit. There was a post about Valorant. Yeah, there was a post from the developers of Here It Is. So apparently this is a thing now because first of all, you didn't spell it right, Valorant. Do, do better. It's, there's only one G and T bag. Do better. Second of all, the fact that you're going to ban someone for doing this. Again, we live in a pussified world. And besides that, Valorant, that game is dying anyway. Who cares? That's why you have to put it on Xbox. Because it's a dying game. Anyway... A teabagger has been punished and your game has been canceled. No win or loss has been credited for any place. So this is the world we live in now. Where we cater to a bunch of pussies online who couldn't handle it. Like I said, a Halo 3 or a Modern Warfare 2 lobby back on the 360 days. These people couldn't hand, could never handle those things. And honestly, none of them should be on none of them should be on gaming if you can't handle a virtual thing happening to you because you're a big fucking baby. Okay? You should really get off the internet if you can't handle virtual things happening to virtual things people it's not happening to real life people it's not happening to real life people it's happening to virtual characters in a virtual world in a video game get over yourself you big fucking pussy i would love for these people to join my games during halo infinite because i would love to just teabag all over them because they think this is real life because they really think this is real life it's just like that one story where this person was like, oh, my character is being graped in, in GTA 5 online, and I don't like it. It's like, girl, please, get off, again, get off the game, get off the internet, don't play the game, because you're just, you're just too retarded to, to, to understand what's real life and what isn't. You're making real victims look bad. Come on now. You're making real sexual assault victims look bad with your dumb arguments and your dumb words coming out of your mouth because you're just so dumb but yeah just want to make this video because i love teabagging and i don't want it to go away i mean we have split gate where they literally encourage you you get points for that and they have leaderboards for that so i'm glad a game like split gate i would rather put money into split gate than play this dog shit valorant game since you want to be out here talking about you want to ban people for doing in-game actions to, you know, this is, this is dumb. You, you, if anyone watches this video to this point, please go play Splitgate. Do not play Valorant. Don't play Valorant because this is a stupid freaking excuse to ban people for, for, for virtual teabagging. Go play Splitgate. Splitgate's a much better game. Splitgate looks like a better game and it is a better game. It plays better. It plays way better than this piece of shit game with the with this nonsense that's going on right here. Go play go go play Splitgate. You'll have way more fun. You'll have a better time. And the developers are not pussies like these people at Riot Games. So that's all I wanted to say for this video. I'm gonna leave my link below in, des in the description to my Twitch channel. I play RPG games Monday through Thursday. Typically, I play Halo on Fridays. If anyone wants to join, they can. And I also play Halo on Saturday, but I will be reducing that down to just once a week on Friday. I'll take Saturdays off and have Sundays just to be my retro, which right now we are playing 
Bayonetta. And that is all for now. Hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And as always, I will see you guys on the next one. Peace out.